In the new physical planning regulations, named planning conditions for location of fuel stations 2022 and signed by the Lands, Housing and Urban Development Minister, the fuel stations shall be constructed in a distance not less than 200 meters from public facilities like schools, hospitals, places of worship, markets, public libraries, playgrounds, residential areas and far away from sensitive ecosystems. On highways, a new fuel station must be three kilometers from an existing one on the same side of the road. It is the same for a station along an urban road and on community access roads, it is a two kilometer distance. For someone constructing opposite an existing station, a 200 meter distance has to be maintained. On land area for construction, a fuel station must be on an area not less than 900 square meters and for a service station, it is 1,600 square meters. The regulations also criminalize the construction of fuel stations on expressways except at exit points. No fuel stations close to roundabouts, junctions and vertical or horizontal curves or bends. The developers, according to the regulations, must secure an occupation permit, completion certificate and other necessary approvals. A fuel station shall have at least three well-labeled litter bins, four, one, biodegradables, two, non-biodegradable, three, toxic waste accessible for all travelers and motorists. Failure to comply attracts a fine of 48 currency points or a two-year jail term or both on conviction and the facility will be demolished. If we find out that maybe the punishment is not punitive enough, what we can do is to review because there is always room for reviewing but for now we believe that we are good to go. The minister says the regulations do not affect existing fuel service stations in especially the Kampala metropolitan area. This is a preventive measure but also there is corrective, a corrective measure we want to use and this will be guided by the law. If they did not follow the legal procedures that will be dealt with in accordance with the law because the law is clear and board also has a mandate to order demolition and also reverse the decisions taken by the local governments in regard to development permission. The minister warned local government officers who she said may fraudulently clear construction of fuel stations. There is need for punishment for people to take this matter seriously because the entire country is concerned about the mushrooming fuel stations. What remains to be seen is if these regulations will be effectively implemented to prevent fuel station crowding and associated concerns in Kampala especially. Edward Mhumza, NTV.